Hey YouTube, it's Tech Savvy Solution here and I'm here with my video review for my top 5 Android launchers. And you may be wondering what the heck is an Android launcher? You'll learn more from watching this video than actually me explaining it for half an hour. But the gist of it is that a launcher is basically when you turn on your phone and you like swipe the slide to unlock or whatever, then the first thing you see is your Android launcher, pretty much. Um, it's a place where you have all your applications, your widgets, and your status bar and stuff like that. So I'm here to review the top five, which aren't exactly the most reliable. The top two are, but like the top five, um, or the top three are actually. But the reason why some of them, the reason why these launchers are on the top five list is because they're either, they're either one, creative, or two, reliable. So let's get started. We have... First one on the list, the Android 7 Lite launcher. This launcher is on the list because it's creative, not necessarily reliable or useful. If you, as you can see here, it kind of looks like a desktop, especially in landscape mode. In portrait mode, it kind of looks cheap. But if we have it in landscape mode, then you can show your friends, hey, I have a desktop on my Android phone. And if they don't know any better, they'll believe you. But if we click on this Windows icon, we have a pseudo start menu, and if we go to all programs, we have an entire list of your programs. And you can also search, so if I search face, say done, then we go to Facebook, and it's pretty cool too. Alright, um, if we can also go access the internet directly from here. So if we tap that, it goes straight to the browser. Right, so if we tap this again, then we also have access to my storage control panel. However, these things you have to upgrade. You in order to get it, you have to upgrade to the Android 7 Pro version, which is a bummer. A lot of this, like the obnoxious ad over here, and like how like over half of the features for this launcher are only included if you upgrade. And for the Android Pro you have to pay for it. But overall I think it's clever because it's themed and everything and this is like supposed to be a file browser but if you see here you have icons for moving up or if you go to bin and we move up it works but like things like add a new folder or select all cut copy paste etc um you have to pay for it which is kind of a bummer but i mean look it's cute like okay so we go to like the sd card and if we want to go to like APK and go back, like it actually works. You go back and forward and it works. And you have the close button. Like, isn't that cute? <laughs> okay, so, um, aside from those kind of features, first of all, we can't access the seven preferences, you have to pay for it. But aside from that, we have the most recent applications on the bottom, which is pretty useful. And then we also have the status bar that's moved to the bottom and a sort of custom layout. The cool thing about this is that if you're too lazy to use your volume buttons, you can press, you can tap on this volume icon right here and you can change the volume. Yeah, well, too bad you can't mute it. Oh yeah, you can. Wow. You see that? It's muted. Nice. Okay. So we're done with that. Let's move on to the next launcher. The next launcher on the list is Launcher 7. And actually, this is a pretty reliable launcher. Like, I guess the only unreliable one was the the 7 Lite one. But if we go back... First, um, if you get this launcher, it doesn't come like this. Um, it usually comes like uh, with a black background and everything, but it's basically supposed to be an imitation of the Windows 7 launcher for Windows 7 phones. What I really like about this is that it looks like the Windows 7 launcher. It's very smooth and fast too. Um, if we swipe... Oops. Uh, okay, launcher 7. If we swipe like this, you can access your applications, and you got, you can also put widgets here too. And they're also fully functional. 
And then if you checked it out, we have cool animations that mimic that of the launcher. And let's go to launcher 7 again. I think that's pretty cool. So if we were to go to the preferences for launcher 7, I like how they had it themed like the top here. It's just like Windows 7 for the phones. And you have a variety of options, pretty standard, nothing like out of the ordinary or anything. You can change the tile color if you don't like pink, you like blue or cyan. You also have status bar options, application drawers, and oh, you can remove the advertisements, but you have to pay for the full version, pretty much. And if you want to move things around, you can. Although it kind of looks awkward if you don't do it right. You also have options to change the title of the tile or the color of the title. Tile. So we can change it to like this color over here. Or you can change the icon. And you can select the icons from your gallery and stuff. Yeah, so see how it's green. I think that's pretty cool. And you, got, you can also change the background, of course. So let's move on to the next launcher. Number three on our list is ADW Launcher. It's number three because we've heard about it a lot. And, well, on the good side, it's very reliable. But on the other side, it's like, I don't know. I kind of wish there were more features. But hey, what, you, what can you complain? There's... It's a really reliable launcher, especially for people who are new to switching launchers. So first, if you notice, you have an option for a dock bar. You can slide in icons over here. If you swipe down, then you also have this dock bar. And we also have pinch to look at everything and just kind of jump to different pages. And that's pretty nice, too. If you go to the ADW settings... We have a whole slew of options, such as hiding your status bar, um, hiding icon labels, or changing the amount of icons per screen, like the the size of the grid for this. And also the desktop scroll scrolling speed, as well as the desktop overshoot. And then we have drawer settings. You can look on add this on your own. There's nothing too out there. We also have gesture controls. And the cool thing about the ADW launcher is that it has themes. And I'm really big on theming, so you can download tons of themes from the market. I only downloaded one, but say I selected Honeycomb, I can apply the theme. And there you go, you have a honeycomb themed launcher. And the icons, most of them should be themed as well, but not all of them are. But you get the gist of it. So we go home. Okay, our second best launcher on the list is Regina Launcher. I like this launcher a lot just because it's has so many pretty graphics. It's so nice. So let's um take you through the carousel oh look at that isn't that so cool okay so like if you had friends that had iPhones then you could go and show off and be like hey can your iPhone do this not really oh oh and just like show off your phone it's really graphic intensive as I mentioned so make sure you have a phone that's capable of handling that kind of thing so like don't go borrowing your friends like 200 megahertz phone and putting it on there like this is running on a dual core the lg g2x dual core phone so yeah <laughs> that's pretty much it might suck up a lot of juice but hey it's pretty and it's smooth so if you notice regina has some of its own widgets so we go to regina widgets we have a list of regina appointment regina to do Let's try that one. And you, I don't have anything on here, but it's because the application is not installed on my phone. But I mean, you can go and download that in the market for free and just go do that. And 
It's a pretty cool, it's a very clean interface. You can also change the background if you wish. One thing I really like about this uh, launcher is that you can do is if you want to move the widget ever so slightly to the left, you can. It's not like some other launchers where if I go back to ADW launcher, say I want to move this clock ever so slightly downwards, it doesn't let me. It has to be like, okay, it has to be this much downwards, then it can. But like Regina launcher, you can be so precise and do whatever you want with your widgets. Still pretty cool. Another thing I really like about it is you have this thing called a secret workspace, which is kind of a gimmick, but if you're really top secret or you have if you have some applications or you have like a home layout that you don't want your friends to see or something that like oh while your friends put your phone you, they can play with this like layout but when I have the phone then okay I just want this layout for myself or something top secret that you want to pretend like you're a secret angel or something um you can have what's called a secret workspace and let me tap in the secret code so go one two three four all right entering secret workspace you see that all right so if we go to the carousel see how the pages are different it's because it's like a secret workspace it's like no one knows about it you're in your own workspace and you can do everything that you can do in the regular workspace except now it's secret so we have a calendar oh yeah that's nice okay and then if you go back then you go back to the regular one as if nothing happened so isn't that a nifty feature um i like the widgets and everything so thumbs up for that if you look at here on how the applications move it's, there's like so many cool effects and so many graphics and it's all really smooth i'm surprised i thought it'd lag a lot more but it isn't it doesn't if you look at some of the settings for Regina, we have what the secret menu. You can name your workspace, or not name it, but you have the uh, option to turn it on or off. And you can, of course, back up and restore all of your wonderful settings. You also have all access to the 3D effects. Of course, if you disable them, you'll save on power and stuff. And there you go. So let's go on to the number one, in my opinion, launcher for the Android phone, and that is the Go Launcher. It is the best of both worlds, in my opinion. It's more like ADW Launcher, but it's still pretty cool. What I like about it is that you can also have nice 3D effects when you're scrolling. Ah, yes, check it out. And then another thing is that, although you can't move widgets slightly to the left, slightly to the right, like Regina, you can resize them. And that is also pretty cool. It's another feature in other launchers, but it has it, and I'm really glad it does. What you can also do is change how the, the grid, the size of the grid of your launcher. So if you wanted it, we go to check out the theme. If we go to preferences, we have display settings, we have the grid size and you can have it as custom grids as well. If you wanted like, oh I want this many rows and stuff, you can do that. And then you also have access to a lot of other customiza customization options, as you can see here. And then this is why I had the transition effect. So if I wanted, like, I had the cube inside, I don't know, f the roll, I don't know what that is. And you can also adjust the speed. If you have the dock settings, then you have, you can select the icon style. So if you only wanted the icons to change and not the entire theme to change, you could do that. You can also just change the dock background. It's a lot like theming, like customizing themes for, like, iPhone. You can change... The only like specific things that you want to change. You don't have to change the entire theme if you don't want to, and that's pretty nice. I mean, iPhone jailbroken, that is. You can't really do that on a regular iPhone. Um, and you have app drawer settings. Oh, we just went through that. My bad. You have operation settings, so like gestures, just like ADW launcher. And advanced settings. What I really like about this is that you can change the font. 
right here. So if I wanted to change it to like this one, you can. The entire thing changes. It's really cool. But I'm going to keep it the same because I'm boring and I like to read what I'm looking at. So, and yes, back up and restore and stuff. So that is the launcher, Go Launcher EX. Oh, that's a roll animation. See, it's really cool. It's really creative. And if you notice what I just did here, you can pinch to zoom out. You can take a look at all your home screens and you can rearrange the screens. You can delete screens, you can add screens. And then what you can do, so if you go to like, let's say your application drawer, you want to add an application onto the screen. Oh. Ah. Okay, if you want to move clock onto the screen, we can move it to any single page that you want. And there you go. So you don't have to be like the person that's like, Ugh, I'm trying to get to the next page. Ugh. So you can just go like that. And another cool thing is you can delete widgets like like that like what oh no you can't never mind you can only delete pages my bad but i thought that was access for the widgets but anyways um so disregard what i just said but it's a really cool launcher um if you go back to the app drawer then i like how they organized it by either all categories or all programs my bad um, recent programs or running programs and has a built-in task manager so you can close everything if you wanted to. Of course you can theme it like I mentioned earlier and I like the, I really like the themes for Go Launcher. It's really quite unique. And yeah that is Go Launcher. Um, if I miss anything just let me know. But that is in my opinion the top five Android launchers, and I hope you learned something about what a launcher is if you didn't know already. But yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video review. If you have any questions or comments, just post down my um, on the comments below or on my video homepage. But if you like what you see, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video review or tutorial.